Well, hello. My name is Steve Samuel, and I'm hoping that you have a great day. And hopefully you'll see this nice little video, and it'll put a little bit of hop in your step, so to speak, uh, because when you're using NX, there's a really powerful technique that you can use where you can create a variable called a string variable. And the string variable holds a message or a part number. And then you can make that a solid or a set of solid surfaces on a piece of geometry. So for example, if I go to the control E, if I go to the expressions editor, let me just shrink it down a little so that you can see that here is variable A. And as you can see in the quotes, it has a message, have a great day. But I can change that little uh, that little message to uh, let's say p slash n part number uh, x dash zero zero twenty one thirty four or whatever. And as soon as I hit apply, uh, as you can see, it is now uh, embossed upon the solid. So the ability to create an expression that holds a, a set of string or a set of characters, it's a string variable, is awesome. Now, if I say Control Alt Home, uh, Control Control Shift Home, it turns the model all the way back. Control Shift Home, and if I say Control Shift Right Arrow, it shows you the very next uh, entity. So there's the datum plane, there's a sketch, there's text upon the sketch. There's another sketch that is below the text. There's a revolve that's been created. There's an offset surface. There's an extrude. There's a trim body. And finally, there's an edge blend. So that's how I made this puck, if you will. And so if you want to make a string variable, it's actually very easy. In a brand new part file, I'll show you how to do that very simply. As soon as the system comes up, here we go. I'm just going to call this part. And I'm going to say Control E. And in the expressions editor, I'm going to go to the uh, type command, type string. I'm going to give it a variable name, B, or whatever you like. I'm going to put a message in there. Hello. And that is my string variable. So now I have a string variable called B. So now, if I want to use that string variable, I'm going to make a little curve on which to map that string variable onto. There we go. And I'm just going to put a nice little arc in here like this. There we go. And I'm going to go to the curve command and the text command. And within the text command, I'm going to select this little thing right here. First of all, I'm going to select on curve, so I'll select that curve, which is already selected. I'm going to specify um, a natural vector, so when you have a curve, and I'm going to go to reference text, then I'm going to go to select expression and select my variable. Say OK. And I'm going to edit the size of this thing. Hello. Say OK. When I do an extrude, I'm going to extrude with a <clears throat> curve rule of infer curves. So that means whatever this text changes to uh, will all be selected just like that. Say OK. There you have it. That is the way to do to accomplish all of this. So now the next thing I'm going to do uh, is go into my user expressions and I'm going to change that message. Have fun. Enter. And sometimes the problem that you have is that the curve is not large enough to accommodate the text. So I've made the mistake of having, of using more entities or more characters than original, than the original. There we go. So there you go. It says have fun. And I'm going to do it once more. 
just to show you that it does work. Enjoy NX. Enter. There you go. So that is a really great, powerful tool when you want to etch a part number onto a part file or when you want to do embossed lettering of some sort. It's a fantastic, incredibly powerful tool. Thank you very much. My name is Steve Samuel and you'll find this video on our Design Visionaries YouTube channel and you'll also find it at nxtutorials.com. Thanks. It's quite, quite a privilege. Have a great day.